<laughs> we just uh, got finished up taking Ryan Nassib, backup quarterback of the New York Giants, through the body armor program movement assessment. So it included some of the same tests, assessments, and screens that the student athletes will be exposed to in the upcoming school year. I heard about the body armor program through my physical trainer uh, from high school, uh, Bill Mills. And um, this year he um, had taken a class with Dr. Lair and uh, heard about the body armor program and thought it'd be a great, uh, great thing for me to do. And once I heard about it, I jumped on the opportunity. We identified um, movement patterns through the functional movement screen, which we'll start to initiate in the fall. Also, we, uh, we had them go through the wide balance lower quarter test and the wide balance upper quarter test to identify any kind of uh, asymmetries and asymmetrical movement patterns. We finish with the selective functional movement assessment top tier, and basically the, uh, the, the entire assessment probably took uh, about two total hours. And so we took them through a comprehensive routine, but at the end, one of the benefits of uh, taking them through those uh, screens, tests, and assessments, now we're able to get at specific uh, key structures that will be impacting his overall movement and therefore his uh, performance. It was very uh, extensive, you know, from head to toe, got to see uh, all the functions of my body and um, where uh, I'm strong and where I'm weak. The biggest thing is I, I see is guys come back quickly from their injuries, They're not sidelined for the whole season. They come back and they get back in the flow pretty quickly. So if you look at you know Ryan's position as quarterback, the, the key movement pattern for him is going to be ro the rotation pattern for, and, and the shoulder hip link. We were looking to improve the overall movement quality with the with the shoulder and the hips. We're, so we're giving exercise to sort of help him open up the hips, to help him with some of the the rollout drills which we saw when we initially uh, looked at uh, how he was uh, throwing the ball. So we're really looking at uh, some of those key things and drilling down as far as is it a flexibility issue, is it a strength, stability, uh, motor control issue, and that's what the system really delineates out and discriminates against. I mean a lot of this stuff um, you know correlates to being able to perform on the football field because you know, in, in our profession, you know, your body is what you rely on. So um, anything we can do to be able to keep it strong, make sure it's, uh, you know, uh, functioning at the highest level, and tests like this help show that and help tell us what areas we need to improve on so that we can perform at that highest possible level. Yeah, I think what's going to be really cool starting this fall is as our, as our players go through preseason and the testing that they're, they're going to go through, we're going to be able to have specific individual exercises that are specifically for each athlete that they're going to be able to work on pre-training, pre-match. Um, these corrective exercises will help them get on track in terms of fixing some deficiencies or areas where they have a greater likelihood for injury. So we'll see uh, the kind of talent they work with in the NFL and see it firsthand to actually experience it. It's a unique experience and I'm glad I got to have it.